I wanted to start by talking about, well, the themes of the novel and how you made it into a novel, which sounds crackers, but if, if, if you've read the book, you'll know that it covers, it's, it's sort of the epitome of intersectional, gender, race, class, it's all in there. So how did it begin and how did you manage to get all of those themes into, what, what is a, a story, an interesting story? It started out with just being about young people right. in the area and I worked in the area at that time in the community centre and I saw a lot of young people coming and going Yeah. and the austerity measures at that time mm. it was a recession and I was interested in writing about that so how yeah. that affected their lives and how that changed and the rest sort of followed so I was writing then the London riots happened mm -hmm. and it would have been very very silly not to comment because it was the yeah. same time so I guess that's how the layers added, added up and yeah, the, yeah, that's how it sort of added up. I think it's how it started. But it started just on young people mm. and trying to get out of the stereotypical view and what they can deal with and what they do and how they look at life and show the complexity. Yeah, yeah uh, that's interesting because there's a lot of complexity in there, but I felt like the heart of the story was actually about a friendship yeah. between two boys. So I was interested in what interests you about young male friendship. <laughs> Again, it's in, I think it's watching the guys come and go and how tight they are and this yeah. sort of idea is like yeah that's my man I'm gonna take care of my man not in a sexual way but not yeah. a romantic way but yeah. just that's my bestie and <laughs> um, yeah that it just really I found it really endearing and it just really really moved me to see um, that and because yeah I've never been a young male yeah. boy you know yeah. and so yeah. I think I wanted to imagine myself into that yeah, and I, I think sometimes people don't really, I mean I talk as, I've been a teacher, mm -hmm. so I've, I've seen boys go and I think people don't realise sometimes the intensity yeah. of those friendships, whereas with girls, because they stand around talking all the time. And yeah. <laughs> yeah, and maybe they're more affectionate physically, yeah. but I think they're very tight in a, in a way that sometimes you don't need to speak about, it's just very, mm. very clear, and obviously in the novel things happen, so they have to sometimes speak. Yeah. If they didn't, <laughs> maybe they wouldn't be talking about their friendship. Yeah. yeah. And, I feel like we have to talk about the fact that, that one of the protagonists, Carl, mm -hmm. is transgender. Mm -hmm. But what's really nice about it, I thought, was the fact that it's, it's not a story about transitioning. Mm -hmm. It's not really about him being transgender either, although it's mm -hmm. quite a big element of the novel in that he wants to live mm -hmm. and be accepted for who he is. Mm -hmm. So I was interested in how you... Um, well, what, made, what, what, what was the decision to, to make Carl transgender and how did you go about writing that character and sort of being true to someone mm. and their journey? Yeah, I think there's two big reasons for me writing about him. Again, starting from the young people that I saw mm. and the bad cred that they get. So there's this view that you know black and Asian communities are more homophobic or more mm. transphobic and there was a lot of uh, Asian and black people around the centre or where I worked. So I thought, no, let's just reverse that a little bit because you don't know what's yeah. going on in the home. You don't know yeah. who's nice to somebody you know yeah. who's not nice. You don't know who's accepting. And I think I always have this feeling, love is love. So when somebody mm. loves you, they'll go on that journey with you. Yeah. And if they uh, don't love you, they don't. And obviously, it's easier to hate people you don't love. So that's one thing. The other thing is it's a bit more complicated. It was my PhD project. So right. I was writing with research questions and objectives. And my big sort of unifying element was a Nigerian god, a deity called Ishu, who yeah. is an androgynous deity. Mm -hmm. And from there, when I was reading up on Ishu and I was thinking through some of uh, the things Ishu stands for, it sort of developed from that. Mm -hmm. So I thought, okay, this is an opportunity to, to feed that in, to, in one way, reverse sort of the stereotypical view of, you know, all these communities are not accepting. So it's mm -hmm. quite important how Abu's family is towards yeah. Carl. That's for me, especially the father. That's I love that the most. Mm. That he's just welcome. You are accepted. We don't have to talk about this. Yeah, we have talked about this, but now we don't have to talk about this. So yeah, that's how the genesis about this. So um, I, um, how, you were trying to find out what sort of research I did or. Yeah, it'd be interesting because I think it's, especially because it's such a topical, yeah. um, I don't want to say a thing, at the moment, it's the wrong one, but it's very topical at the moment. Yeah. yeah, well, particularly, so we're filming this the day after Donald Trump's announced that transgender yeah. people aren't allowed to serve in the US Army anymore. Yeah. So, you know, that, and that's going to have a massive impact on, on those communities and the way that people see them. 
when I started it wasn't as topical, so it was, right. it's, it's really weird that it became a thing that you have a lot of programs about transitioning or trans yeah. people, it wasn't like that at all. Mm. I think it, it is a, for me it was a personal thing to engage as a feminist with gender in a different mm -hmm. way and it sort of came about. I, I know a lot of trans people I always did, I'm queer, so it's not, yeah. I think even before trans was such a term, I grew up in my communities with people who just define themselves differently mm. you know, outside the yeah. gender binaries and that's something that is quite common to me. So mm. I think it wasn't such a such a big leap in a way. Um, but I did I did a lot of research especially because of that age group because mm. I needed to also know what it means and obviously nowadays you have you know puberty blockers and as hormones yeah. and where could Carl be on his journey mm -hmm. if he so choose to be. So I did that but I didn't really put a lot of that in the yeah. in the novel itself. But I, I read up, I also met with somebody who was exactly Carl's age right. and we had very good conversations and that was after my um, first draft and I asked him specifically and I talked through some of the topics and asked him also what he felt was important mm. and not so important. So. Yeah. Yeah.